Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam. In this video, I will be talking with you about the new MacBook series that Apple has recently announced. The Apple has announced two sizes of MacBook in 14.2 inch and 16.2 inch display sizes. The new MacBook series is powered by its own custom silicon chip which is now more powerful than its predecessor which was M1. The new processors are called M1 Pro and M1 Max and as predicted few years ago, there is no Intel or AMD version available. In fact, the Apple custom chip delivered best in class performance, best in class efficiency and best in class graphics which is way better than competition and leave behind other CPU with huge margin which left no room for others. In order to achieve this, the Apple fused its CPU, GPU together with unified memory or RAM in a single SoC which is way faster than typical performance machine which generally has dual separate CPU and GPU with separate pool of memory which is bottlenecked by the interface that connecting both. The new M1 Pro chip now comes with 8 high performance cores and 2 energy saving with 3 times faster memory interface which is now 200 Gbps according to Apple. Not only that, the new memory or RAM now has a very low latency. The built-in 16 core GPU inside Apple SoC is way faster than integrated graphics that you will find in Intel processors. The another reason which makes this processor so efficient is they are manufactured with 5 nanometer manufacturing process. The Apple SoC also has a dedicated hardware for example neural engine which help developers and users to build and run machine learning models way faster than before. The other components include a dedicated media engine for decoding 4K and 8K videos, display engine to run multiple display and additional input output port. On top of that, if we talk about the M1 Max, the M1 Max comes with double the memory that is present in M1 Pro, which is it comes with 64GB of unified memory or RAM and have double the size of bandwidth which is 400 Gbps of memory interface instead of 200 Gbps and also comes with 32 cores instead of 16 cores present in M1 Pro and have 1.7 times more transistors than M1 Pro. All in all you're going to see much more better performance even compared with M1 Pro. If we talk about the display, the new MacBook series also comes with Pro Display which is powered by Apple Mini LED backlit with staggering 1 million ratio 1 contrast ratio. Not only that, now the display resolution also bumped up to 3024 by 1964 pixel for 14.2 inch model and 3456 by 2234 pixels for MacBook 16 inch model. However, the display now comes with a notch just like we generally see in iPhone. The other feature of Apple display include a peak brightness of 1600 nits and a sustained brightness of 1000 nits which itself is outstanding. The display also comes with added refresh rate from 24Hz to 120Hz also known as ProMotion display that we can also see in iPad. Now let's talk about the sound. The new MacBook comes with 3 studio mic. According to Apple is now better than ever. The sound system also get boost with 2 additional Twitter and bigger speaker chamber. The MacBook now support spatial sound which means that you will not able to see the sound coming from left and right but from all directions that is from front behind as well. If we talk about the webcam, the webcam now have a resolution of 1080p instead of 720p with larger sensor size for better low light performance and functionality such as center stage. If we talk about the keyboard, the keyboard now no longer come with the touch input which we had in previous generation of MacBook. For example, you can see that in M1 Mac with its famous force touchpad. Now let's talk about the battery life. The new SoC are so power efficient as we know from the M1 Max. They deliver best in class efficiency and performance per watt compared to all notebook existed. 
However, this time due to more powerful SOC inside, the battery time now has been slightly reduced from 20 hours to 17 hours for MacBook Pro 14.2 inch while the MacBook Pro 16 inch deliver up to 21 hours of battery life thanks to its bigger size of battery inside in Apple TV app movie playback. In terms of connectivity, as we discussed before in CPU, now comes with more connectivity options which mean that now you can see three thunderbolt port instead of two that used to come with m1 mac it also comes with hdmi port and sd card slot if all these capabilities explained in apple presentation comes true then for sure they have created one of the best notebook available in the market unfortunately like previous m1 mac this time the macbook won't start with 1299 instead it will start from 1999 which is again $2000 for 14.2 inch and staggering 2499 which is again $2500 for 16.2 inch model which in my opinion is very expensive and on the top of if you are from my country which is india where the prices will further increase from $2000 to $2600 for 14.2 inch Mac and massive jump from $2500 to $3250 for 16.2 inch Mac. So I think a lot of Indian might prefer to pay down payment to book flat or like to invest in gold instead of buying this crap whose value will immediately drop as you buy. Oh, I'm just joking. So if you are looking for some of the best laptop that money can buy right now in the market, then definitely you can check out the new latest MacBook Pro powered by M1 Max and M1 Pro processor. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye.